welcome back to my channel today I am doing my June favorites and as you all know I hate doing favorites videos um yeah I don't know why I just feel like I'm really put on the spot and I don't know I either have like a ton of things that I like or not anything that I like anyways today I have five things that have been my top favorites so my first favorite of this month is the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like this color right here, like, I don't know, it looks lavender as I'm looking in my camera, but it's not. It's like a muted mauve pink. I don't know. It's beautiful. I love it. But anyways, the shadows are amazing. They are just really warm toned. I've already done a couple looks with it that I'm probably going to film, so this month you'll probably see a lot of this palette. I'm not really a big, like, warm toned kind of person. I just am one of those people that I like cooler toned. Um, at least for myself, I feel like I look better in cooler toned eyeshadows. I know it's really weird because everybody loves warm toned eyeshadows, but just a personal preference of mine, I don't really like warm toned shadows that much. Um, but these are all clearly very warm toned and I do love them though. They do work for me. Okay, next is this Makeup Forever Waterproof Eye Pencil. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I've already actually swatched it on my hand because I put it on my eyes tonight. It is just, it's beautiful. I don't really like the color blue, but this isn't really blue. This is, this is like an aqua. Well, super, super creamy. Like tonight, I don't think you can really tell because um, I'm not like really zoomed in, but I put on a black eyeliner and then on top of that, I put this on and it just glided right on. I was kind of worried that it would kind of like, I don't know, give me a hard time and not really like glide on very well, but it definitely worked out. So I really love this. Um, I just love this color actually, but yeah, the formula is really great, but this color, I was just drawn to it. I saw this girl at Sephora, she was my cashier and she had it on her eyes and I was like, what is that? I need it in my life. Okay, next, I've had these lashes forever in my drawer, literally for probably a year and a half, never worn them. I was really attracted to them on the website and then they came and I was like, no, they're way too big. But then after a year and a half of owning them, I decided to give them a try and now I love them and I wear them every day. So this is the Coco Lashes in Misha. They are just, I mean, like the camera doesn't even do it justice. They're beautiful. I posted a picture with these on on my Instagram. So if you wanna go check that out, you can see them a little more clearly, but they're just beautiful. Even my friend Ava was like, Stacy, your eyelashes are really natural looking today. And I was like, thanks, because usually I wear these like gargantuan eyelashes that don't look natural at all. But she was like, no, I love your eyelashes. They look so good. So yeah, these Coco lashes are amazing. I don't know why I didn't wear them for the year and a half that I had them, but yeah, I'm really glad I did. So next is this Bumble and Bumble Thickening Hairspray. This was actually recommended to me by my little sister. Um, she has really thick and beautiful hair. She just has better hair than I do. But my hair is super fine, flat, thin, boring, dull. There's like no body in it whatsoever. So my sister was like, you have to get the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Hairspray. She said she swears by it. I really, really love it. You just get out of the shower and then spray it on your roots and then blow dry it. And it's amazing. It just gives me a lot of volume. Anything that will give me any more volume is just good for me because I don't have anything. My hair is just like so flat to my head. I hate it. Last but not least, this is the best. I saved the best for last. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin um, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Once again, this was recommended to me by my sister. This is incredible. This is the best concealer I've ever used in my entire life. I always used to say my NYX HD concealer was the best ever blah 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 and then also I love the Maybelline Fit Me concealer um, but no, no this this is what you need this is what you need and it lasts all day long and I'm obsessed with it I'm in the color fair neutral just because I like it to be really really light underneath my eyes um, but yeah go get it it is kind of expensive it's like $32 I think which is which sucks because I use so much concealer 
I just love, love, love concealer. I feel like I run out of it more than I run out of anything else. And so I always try to stay with cheaper concealers, but this one's like worth it. Like I'll splurge for this one for sure. Okay, so that is it for my June favorites. Um, I feel like you guys probably hate my favorites videos just because they're boring and short and yeah. Anyways, I don't take any offense to it if you don't want to watch this video. But um, I have made a decision also to not film any more BoxyCharm unboxings just because I feel like that video is probably really boring to watch and I don't want to bore you guys. I was thinking though that I'm still going to get my BoxyCharm subscription every single month except I think that I'm going to try to incorporate what they give me into a lot of my tutorials throughout the month. So if you are subscribed to BoxyCharm, you maybe can like learn how to use some of the products. I'm not going to use all of it. I think they give you like five different things in the box. Um, at least one of whatever they send, I'm definitely going to use throughout the month. And so I think I'm just going to do it that way. Yeah. So anyways, um, if you are wondering what my makeup is, I know that I told you I use the Makeup Forever eyeliner on my eyes and I told you that my eyelashes were cocoa lashes but my lip color is this forest green color I don't know if you guys have noticed but it's so pretty I'm obsessed with it I just got it at BeautyCon and I will be filming a BeautyCon haul um, I'm gonna be filming that a few days from now so watch out for that I just don't really want to say I don't know I didn't want to include anything that I got there in my favorites or anything like that because that would technically be my July favorites so I just want to do like entire separate video for BeautyCon but BeautyCon was so amazing oh my god it was so much fun I can't wait to film that video for you guys um and yeah so if you're wondering what's on me you will find out soon enough I'm going to do a tutorial on this look as well so yeah other than that, I don't know what else is on me. Oh, and I am wearing a necklace that my best friend Lauren, she makes these. They're amazing. She'll have her own Etsy shop up and running pretty soon, so I'll give you guys more information on that. Um, she also made my ring that I'm wearing, too. I don't know. I just thought that I'd point that out because usually I'm not wearing any jewelry at all. I really love wearing rings, but I'm usually never wearing a necklace. So yeah, now I am just rambling. So I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.